You, you never know what you'll find in the universe of my mind. Okay, so that is really super frustrating. And it's just not... I, I have to figure something out because that is just making me want to not do videos because the battery, they keep dying on me. And... I, I, it happened again just now, and I tried to, to replace it, and that battery was dead too. So now I have to wait for them to, to charge, or I can use that camera again. So I'm using my phone right now, and so that means I'm holding it, holding my phone with one hand and trying to do this with the other. So that's going to be tricky but I don't know how else to, to do it and like I said before the lighting and all that but at least this way you can see what I'm doing a little bit better maybe maybe uh, anyway okay so I know I said I was going to do two things but I'm going to do three because I felt guilty about, about not using the green so <laughs> so I'm going to do another small face I did that again. That that's not what I usually do. I usually don't do the hair until like the last thing when I'm drawing faces. I don't know why I'm doing it different today, but anyway. Okay. I just realized this is going to be super tricky because she's small and crayons don't really work well with small. Okay. Because I had drawn jungle green for the skin of the one that I just did. I, there's no way I can color and hold the phone at the same time. How am I going to do this? Okay, so this is not ideal, but we'll see, see how it goes. Um, so, as I was trying to say, because I drew jungle green for the flesh of the one I just finished, this this one I will do it. Now you're gonna have to trust me because I only have the one camera now. I'm going to go digging without looking for a background color. And it is sand. Uh, almond, actually. Which is what the, the gold looked like to me. and everything this is not great quality video but there's not much I can do okay um, digging for her background which is pink sherbet and this is a thinner paper so I'm going, to, I'm going to try using this stencil again and this time the stencil is about the same size-ish as the paper so yeah that works great so that was the problem my paper was too thick and this time I'm coloring 
in the direction that I want it to originally. Okay, I'm probably going to cut a little bit. Maybe. Yeah, I'm probably going to cut a little bit off at the top and bottom. Make it more square. Um, okay. And now I'm digging for her sweater. And it is brick red. And I'm going to use this pencil as a texture plate. Um, but I highly, highly recommend you try this. This fun exercise because it's it's neat. You, you, you never know what you're going to end up with. I, I love it when when it works. Um, I didn't do it too good a job over here. I'm going to fix that a little bit. There. That's better. Okay. Now I'm digging for her lip color. Which is desert sand. Uh, now her eyes. Tumbleweed, which is almost the same color as desert sand. I'm going to also use this one to do some shading in her hair. Because it's a similar color but it's darker. What's left? some shading so I need a shading color okay oh I thought I oh okay so this is black I'm, I'm gonna um, black is doesn't count because that I'm allowed to use black anyway so um, just without digging for it so I'm gonna choose another one even though black would have been a great shading color. Oh. Yellow. You're not really going to be able to see, but I mean, it's not. Well, it's doing something. I'm going to do it. It's it's uh, making a bigger difference than I expected it to, so it's good. Hmm. Even on the sweater, it's making a bigger difference than I expected. Oh, well, that's kind of cool. Okay. Um. And now I'm just going to, I'm going to allow myself to use a colored pencil for her eyes. Just because the, the crayon, it's just not going to, it's going to be too hard. I, I was forced to use green, so I think I'm allowed one little thing. Okay. 
Okay, and shading. Okay, I, I'm going to allow myself to do a little tiny bit with the black colored pencil on her lips just because the yellow shading color just wasn't going to show up. And just so I can fix this area a tiny bit, I'm going to do just a little bit of this too. Okay. And I'm also going to allow myself to use the gel pen like I did on the original for the highlights. And a little bit on the nose too. Okay, she's done and I'm actually quite surprised. I don't hate, I don't hate it. <laughs> I mean, they're, they're not choices I would have made, but I love the eyes. I love the eye color. I might actually do that again. This is inspiring something, so I might make another video or two today. We'll see um, if the batteries will cooperate and stuff. Anyway, um, so that's her. Okay, so those are the colors I used on the on the first two I did. Um, oh, the sun's coming out, trying to at least. So now I have even bigger <laughs> shadows and, and lighting issues. Uh, my batteries are still charging, so still can't use the other camera for this. But um, here's the other idea that my sister inspired so like yeah she did the face that I, I did here mine's different but anyway and then i did the the other one the small one because i felt guilty about not using the green for her skin but and, and then i i mounted this on a, a piece of paper and and i i had i had this chosen before I started doing her so and I mean it, it's kind of neat how it ended up matching or, or working with it but anyway uh, and then I, I put the color swatch there and I have the color swatch for this and the info and everything uh, but yeah I so there's that and then I'm going to try to do a drawing with holding the camera up like this it's my phone I mean and I think that this method of choosing the colors and stuff would lend itself perfectly for a friendly alien critter so I think I'm going to try to invent one I could use a show up I suppose but Anyway, I'm just going to come up with something that looks like a friendly alien critter. giving them big toes like that. Big nose or tiny nose? Hmm. Or alien-y nose? 
probably that kind of nose tiny little eyeballs Sometimes it's hard to do something that looks the same. I guess it doesn't have to look exactly the same, but I would like for it to look like it's coming from the same critter. And I love giving them great big ears. They don't all have it, but I like doing it. It almost looks like a butterfly wing. Uh, let's see. Like I said before, it's hard to do stuff that looks like it belongs to the same critter. It's hard for me to duplicate stuff. And, and reverse images are a challenge for me as well. I'm going to say that that's close enough, even though it's not identical. If I really, really wanted it to look identical, well, maybe I'll shorten it just a little bit. Um, but if I really, really wanted it to look exact, I could always trace this side and flip it over and transfer it. But I'm not going to be that precise. Okay, I'm gonna say that's close enough. And does he want a tail? And does he want another limb or two? This kinda looks like something lives there. I'm not sure if I want to leave those on there or not. Hmm. Nope, I don't think so. What I'm going to do is turn this into a very long tail. There we go. I think that works. Okay, now, does he, what kind of mouth does he have? One like that? Yeah, I think I like that. It's kind of adorable. Okay, let us bring this over. And you're gonna have to trust me because I only have the one filming device available at the moment. Ooh, it's getting windy all of a sudden. Okay, so I'm going to choose actually let's put this here because over here it's in my way. So you're gonna have to trust me. I'm going to I'm closing my eyes. I'm gonna choose a background color. Well, that's kind of too normal for an alien, for a friendly alien critter. But that's what I picked up, so 
Oh, I forgot to put like a like a horizon line type of thing. Okay. Okay, so Okay, this time I'm going to do the color swatch as I go. Sky blue. Okay, now for the, the ground, I guess. Again, you have to trust me, I'm closing my eyes. Whether you trust me or not, I guess nothing I can do about it. Okay, this is royal purple. That's, that's more like it. That's more of an alien color. Alien landscape type color. Okay, you, you know how to color. I, I'm going to pick for this area and probably the, the limbs. So... Okay, and that is wild watermelon. Oh, it's neonish. Okay, I'm gonna try to press hard so that it has. Yeah, I think I'm going to do the ears a little slightly different, well, a different color. I was going to say slightly different, but depends on how, depends on what I pull, I guess. Um, but yeah, I'm trying to press hard so that I get a different type of texture, I guess. I could do the ears the same color, but I like this color. Pressing hard on the limbs too for a slightly smoother coverage. And now I'm going to pick for the nose, ears, tail, and that. I'm going to do all of that in one, in the same color. Okay, so, um, let me write that down. So this is cerise, which is cherry. Which is kind of neat that it... Kind of is, is, is working with what I have so far. And again, I'm going to try to do the press hard thing to get the smoother texture if I can.
yeah, this is this is fun. I I I often have trouble figuring out what colors to to do and use and whatever. So this makes a decision for you. It's neat. Okay, so I'm going to do the tail with some, I'm going to make the tail furry, so I wanted to show you how I will do it. So what I'll do is lightly go just to lay down the base color. Just so that it covers up as much of it as I can with this base layer. Sometimes I do that with watercolor. Um, and then I go over top, pressing a little bit harder, and I, I zigzag. To give it a, a furry texture. And I try to follow the direction of the card I'm coloring. Okay, sorry about the very bad camera work. I forget that I'm filming and and it's hard to, to do stuff with one hand and stuff, concentrate and stuff. Okay, now I'm choosing the, the body color. Moveless. Hmm. I guess it'll work good enough. And I'm going to do the, the body the same way I did the tail. It's kind of neat. All these colors do work together. You, you almost think that I didn't close my eyes, but I promise I did. Oh, right. I need the, the base, base first. And when I do the base part, I don't really 
quite as much attention to the direction as when I do the part where there's where I add the texture of the fur. Now I'm trying to pay closer attention because it adds to the uh, depth and whatever. Okay, so I'm just gonna do that and I'll be back. Okay, now I'm choosing for the toe and fingernail color. this color. Yeah, I do like that color. And it's one of the ones that it has glitter in it. And it's a it's one of the metallic ones. Shading color. Ooh, perfect shading color. Except that it's one of the shiny ones, and these, the ones with the glitter in it, um, these tend to not work quite as well. Okay, so this one is. Bedazzled blue. And it's perfect for shading and it works great with the colors that I ended up with. So yeah, these are not colors I would normally have chosen, but I like it. bits I, I I do the the scribbly thing so normally I would shade with different colors according to what like here I would use a, a darker version of the same color and stuff but but uh, making it a little bit less complicated by choosing just one overall shading color for these Because it's challenging enough as is. But it's fun. It's a fun kind of challenge.
see just a little bit of here and there stuff in the ground. choose a color for the cheeks but I want to I need a little bit more I like I like doing cheek things okay so Good thing for it. Hot magenta. It's perfect. It's perfect because it's very subtle, but it adds so much. Oh. <laughs> It has so much. Maybe the mouth a little bit too. Okay, those are his colors so far. And I think I think I'm gonna allow myself to use a little bit of black just for the shading around here a little bit just just because I think it needs it and a little bit on the ears and in there And the eyes. Actually, should I choose a color for the eyes? I think I'm gonna pull for the eyes. Even though they're little beads, they, they don't have to be black, right? Huh. <laughs> now I regret doing it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna do it anyway. It is spring green. At least this is the least offensive of the greens. Because at least it's kind of a happy green. It's almost yellow, so I can I can tolerate it. Makes them look like they're glowing a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to allow myself to use a. Do I do I need to do I leave them just like that or do I do a pupil? I'm gonna do just a teeny tiny. It's a little bit less, it's not quite teeny tiny, but yeah, I think it needed it. Okay, and then the Sakura Jelly Roll White for the highlights. Um, so, in the eye. Let's 
some on there a little bit some on the nails just because the nails are kind of lost I'm surprised that it's working on on crayon but yay okay and I I I did that a little bit just to just in case there was some wax or whatever that got into the nib to keep my pen working and um, I had just thought of one more thing I wanted to do with him oh yeah I'm going to use a regular pencil just to make that the mouth a little bit darker. There we go. There we go. And I think I'm gonna call him done. <whistles>